Yo, this is Jay from Straight Smoke Gaming, and in today's video, we have a mock draft for you. Uh, these are going to be picks 1 through 16. Uh, I will be trying to get out the other picks 17 through 32 here in a couple days after this video goes up, but this is dr mock draft 1.0. Um, just because the draft is about 50 days away, so there's going to be trades, there's going to be signing, so this is subject to change. That's why it is 1.0. If there is any big trades, I will do another mock draft. Starting off first here, we got the Chicago Bears taking Caleb Williams first overall. No real surprise there. I do think they will move on from Fields. Caleb Williams was kind of the consensus one this entire time. This guy is supposed to be generational talent, so I think the Bears take a chance on him and restart the quarterback clock. Second overall, the Commanders will take Drake May. Drake May, quarterback at a UNC, he was kind of the consensus too after, um, you know, after Caleb Williams, they weren't happy with how Sam Howell played, so they're going to also restart their quarterback clock. Third overall, the uh, New England Patriots, they're going to select Marvin Harrison Jr. Now, this guy was kind of the consensus one at wide receiver, the generational talent at wide receiver. This guy has been compared to like A.J. Green, Jamar Chase type people. So this guy is going to be a stud. Fourth overall, the Arizona Cardinals selecting Malik Neighbors, wide receiver at LSU. Same thing with the Patriots here. They just need a guy for the quarterback to throw the ball to. It's kind of hard to say a quarterback is not good if he doesn't have anyone to throw the ball to. So that's why Malik Neighbors goes here. Fifth overall, I have the Minnesota Vikings trading up to get Jaden Daniels, quarterback out of LSU. I do see them moving on from Kirk Cousins. So they're getting a younger, probably going to be a better, more mobile quarterback and trying to restart their clock, get a franchise quarterback. Sixth overall, the New York Giants are going to be selecting Rome Odunze, wide receiver out of Washington. Odunze is one of my favorite prospects in this draft. And, you know, the Giants need a wide receiver. I feel like they've been saying that for years. They just haven't got one. So this year with their sixth pick, they go ahead and get one. Seventh overall, Tennessee Titans are going to take Joe Alt, offensive tackle out of Notre Dame. Now, this pick, I could see it alternated. If Odunze is there, they go Odunze. If he's not, they go Alt. Um, you know, this guy's the best offensive lineman in the draft. So they go ahead and roll with that pick. Eighth overall, I have the Falcons. This is the Justin Fields trade. So they trade this pick to the Bears. Realistically, I don't think Fields goes for a one. But if he does, I think it'll be a smart pick for the Bears to go ahead and take Brock Bowers. This is kind of a tight end slash slot wide receiver role. Ninth overall, Bears back up with their own pick. And they take Dallas Turner edge out of Bama. You know, Dallas Turner was kind of the consensus. Number one defensive prospect in the draft. So this is where they go with that pick. Tenth overall, you got the New York Jets taking Talisi Funga. This is an offensive tackle out of Oregon State. He's really good. He's really quick. He had a really good combine, kind of flying up people's draft boards. So I do see him going over uh, Fashanu. Number 11 with the Chargers trading back. I have a feeling they're going to take Nate Wiggins. The defense was bad. Uh, they really want to bolster that secondary, in my opinion. And this guy, he had a really good combine, really quick. I think he would fit in well with that Chargers defense here at 11. 12, you got the Denver Broncos taking J.J. McCarthy, quarterback out of Michigan. No surprise here. I mean, they're moving on from Russell Wilson. They need a guy. They need a franchise guy. They want a franchise guy. They take a chance on J.J. McCarthy. I'm not a fan of him, but a lot of teams are. 13th overall, the Las Vegas Raiders select Olu Fashanu, offensive tackle out of Penn State. This guy is big. He is fast. He is a really good offensive tackle, and I do think that he will fit in well in the Raiders. I think he fits the AP type. 14th overall, the New Orleans Saints take Jared Verse. Jared Verse is kind of the consensus two edge player after Dallas Turner, and I see his pick kind of being like the Saints preparing for life after Cam Jordan. You know, that he is getting older. That will come to an end. 15th overall, the Indianapolis Colts select Byron Murphy, defensive tackle out of Tennessee. Now, I don't know if you guys seen this guy's 40 time, but he was quick and he is huge. If I seen a guy running at me that size, I will be scared. 16th overall, the Seattle Seahawks take Troy Fatanu. And the reason I like this pick is because there was talks about him going down to play offensive guard. So it's kind of versatile um, for the Seahawks. They need a little bit of inside lime help. So that's where they go at 16. Like I was saying earlier, um, <clears throat> the draft is about 50 days away. So this is there is going to be changes. Like I was saying, I don't think Justin Fields goes for a first. But just so we have something to work for, that's what I went with. Um, if there is trades... Picks will be updated. Uh, like I was saying, the other, the second half to this video, picks 17 through 32, will be posted 
tomorrow, the day after this video goes up. So I will link that down in the description. Go ahead and check that out. And, you know, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. These are mock drafts. They are subject to change. They are all opinions. There's no right or wrong answers. But that's all we got in this video. So if you enjoyed, please remember to like and sub for more Madden, GTA, and Red Dead content. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.